Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are just outside the Imperial City at the Imperial Waterfront. We are about to carry on with the Thieves Guild mission, having fenced over 50 golds worth of stolen goods. I'm glad you stopped by. I have a situation that you might be able to help with. So let's see what our man Christoph has to say to me. The Grey Fox has asked me to take care of a problem. I'm putting you on it. Hieronymus Lex actually collected taxes from everyone living here on the waterfront. Your job is to recover those taxes. Are you up for it? Yeah, sure. This one's quite easy. Good. Find out where he's keeping the taxes and bring them to me. I'll also need the tax records of what each citizen paid so we can return it. Okay. If you go to the fighting chance, make sure to speak. Get our conjuration skill up a bit. It's you. It is me. Look at all the skeletons I'm summoning. Put that away quickly. Don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. Where the fuck is it telling me to go? What the fuck? I've been on the following the wrong quest. No wonder. I thought it was taking me a weird route. Another day. Good, there's no one in here. This is a restricted area, Sid. Fuck you, asshole. Takes too long to for you to load into all of these areas I'm going into. And by the time you do, I'll be long gone, sunshine. I leave, I leave. 
Please, I must speak with you, did he just say? Who said that? No, in here. Please, speak. Well, go on then. Pardon me. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was sent to ask for your help. You were? Where are my manners? I'm Ross of Norvalo. My husband, Gillen, has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Okay. Please forgive my audacity. You're forgiven. Thank you. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case, he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. Okay. You're to meet him at Seridur's house, which is located in the Temple District. He said all will be explained when you get there. Cool. That's all he told me to say. Okay. Thank you. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I must go now. Good day to you. Order of the virtuous blood, eh? I think the Order of a Virtuous Blood is a vampire hunting mission. So the question is, Chad, do we want to become a vampire? Because the odds are we're going to contract porphoric hemophilia during that quest. I think we probably do. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. It gives you good, powerful buffs. I think it's worth it. Have you recovered those taxes? Plus, it's another quest that we have to fulfill. Un uh, becoming, curing ourselves of vampirism is another quest in the game. So. Ah. We will make sure this gets back to the people. Can you believe that fool even bothered to collect this paltry sum? You can keep it. I merely wanted the watch to know they went too far. I think it's time to promote you to footpad. Yay. Congratulations on your new guild rank. We are footpad now, chat. The guild has received a request to obtain a unique statuette. It is a bust of Lafasa Indaris. The recently slain Countess of Chadenhall. Okay. You will be paid a modest sum. Do you want this job? I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Bring it back to me once you have it. Okay. Shadow hide. Let's go to the uh, visit the Order of the Virtuous Blood mission. Time is it two in the morning? Actually, I need to go and steal whilst it's night time and properly night time. I need to go to the market district because there is some Nern root in the uh, gilded carafe has some Nern root which you want to nick. Take off all our equipment so we're nice and light. Oh, we've got stuff to sell as well. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah. We went down to that um, fortress, didn't we? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Right, let's go get the Nern root and then we'll steal all these other potions because they're worth a hefty fortune. will get our um, the amount of money we have to fence up quite nicely I'm 
Let's all the potions taken. Let's get out of here. You didn't see anything. I see you're a follower of the Grey Fox. Oh, thank too. God. That's lucky. My name is Carwin. That was fucking lucky. If you need to get rid of something quickly, check out the copious coin purse. Okay. Yeah, thank goodness she fucking she's a thief as well, chat. Otherwise she might have completely fucking ruined our day and been like, thief! Thief! Breaking and entering. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Although we can get back to our illusion because we're not sneak snonking anymore, so we can get back to levering leveling up our illusion. Salidor. You remind me of my homeland. It's an honor to finally <laughs> meet you. <laughs> Sorry, your when butler was just insulting town, me. I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Is that right? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Seridor. Likewise, sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. Splendid. Watch your step. Why am I watching my step? What am I watching for? You finished insulting me, you prick. Can I take any of this stuff? No, it's all stealing. Oh, he's got uh, potatoes. I'm honored by your presence. Hear out Cyrodur first, then we'll speak. Okay. Nice to meet you. Fucking hell. You must speak with Serador. Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. Yay! I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings, feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Okay. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, We've been unsuccessful finding one, until now. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire and has already claimed one victim. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. Hmm. A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him 
and destroy him. Okay. I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. Why do you meet at night if you're vampire? His home hunters? is located in the temple district. Right across the garden from my home, in fact. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah. Vampires are nasty creatures. They drink the blood of others to conceal their true nature. Such trickery makes them difficult to find. Hmm. You may ask Gillen Norvallo or Greyfoot about these creatures as well. They've learned much. Okay. Who knows when Roland will strike again? My knowledge is at your disposal. Roland was always a quiet man. It was only recently he'd met that young lady. Poor girl. We must avenge her death. Yeah. It's said that the bite of a vampire has the chance of infecting the victim. If this occurs, they'll become a vampire in a few days. Be cautious. Vampires are tricky, so watch your back. How can I be of service? Roland was very much the loner. He never married and was rarely seen outside his house. I'm surprised his secret wasn't discovered sooner. A vampire cannot exist in the daylight for long. As the sun's rays strike his flesh, it will burn as if on fire. Looking for an axe? Hello again, fellow vampires. What is it? I'm Sylvan Dolovas, assistant and bodyguard to Cerebro. Let's leave it at that. Okay. After searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where the two would meet. It's located east of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. I think this may be where Roland could be hiding. I should head out there immediately before he has a chance to escape. Well, firstly, let's look around and see if there's anything worth stealing in here. Whilst we're in here. Because we need to um, get our fenced goods value, Fen sold the value of our sold fenced goods, whatever. You know what I'm saying, chat. Focusing on this lock picking. 
the value of our fence goods to be over a thousand or something by the end of it by the end of the um thieves guild missions otherwise Take all this wine because it only weighs one each and we can sell it all. Not pick. Over encumber chat. We're over encumber. Oh, I forgot we're carrying all this shit. Drop that. Okay, let's go. Go upstairs. He has some good potions downstairs. Let's see if he's got anything upstairs. Jewelry box. Not much. Silver nug and some gold. Anything in here? bow we can drop and then get these pestles they'll sell for more calcinator will sell for more than the shit oh there's a chest here as well we haven't unlocked Let's get out of here. Right, let's, uh, what time is it? Five o'clock. Let's go to the market district uh, and sell everything there. Then we'll head up to Bruma, sell all the soul stolen goods. Stolen goods. Then we'll carry on to the cabin and see if we can find this guy this vampire fuck and then we can get infected with porphoric hemophilia uh, and then fight and then become a vampire which is cool as fuck any news you gotta like us have a look at my wares i'm sh a fine transaction You you and you come back. Uh, okay, so that's his cabin over there. Oh, it's past uh, Vela Vel Vilverin or whatever. Let's go back to Bruma, sell all the fence goods. Is it now? I'm really. Poor Arnora. 
Seems her boyfriend, Jorunder, has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Now he's in jail and she is destitute. That sucks. Arnora and Jorunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. Oh, okay. He was gonna skip town on Arnora, but got arrested. This is the quest I was looking for earlier. Escape. Typically gives it to me now. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Yeah, this is the two sides of the coin mission. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's uh, see ahead. if we can charm this guy a bit, because we wanted prices to be better. Hates joking. Okay, so he hates the bottom right. Get up. That good. I wish I could say that. No, you do. I wish I not. That's just t I see. Okay, that didn't last very long. You got at all. some hot property. Yeah, I do. I've got lots of hot property. I think. Oh, Sarah so did like brandy. We need that for. We're gonna sell one of them. Strong potion of might. That's a good deal. Tea strikes. Vintage. I th that seems a fair price. Train magic. I think. Weary no. That's a good deal. You. Dr I. Th you drive a hard. So we did get a couple of Cyrodiilic brandies, which is useful because we need one of those I think for I can move this item. Um, a good price for a good cust. Um, did you know that bump uh, uh, One of the Daedric. Let's go back to Wayland Priory and drop off the Cyrodiilic brandy. Uh, one of the Daedric missions is to, or one of the ways you summon one of the Daedric gods is with Cyrodiilic brandy. So we need to store that. There, the Cyrodiil brandy that we nick. We can come back for it when we find the Daedra that needs it to summon. Um, Cyrodiil brandy. Anything else? No. Oh, we forgot to buy lockpicks. Fuck's sake. Fucking hell. All right, let's go back to Bruma, buy the lockpicks. We dropped off the brandy, that's something at least. We're just fucking around wasting time now. What? What? I'm really Sorry, I forgot to buy lockpicks from you. Lockpick a hundred, yeah. Um. Right, let's drop a save here because there's a chance we're not going to be able to do the vampire one because it'll be too powerful. So let's go to Vil Vilverin. And if he is too powerful for us to um, defeat. Oh, the vamp. There's a bandit somewhere. There he is. If the vampire is too difficult to defeat, then we'll have to come back to Bruma and do the mission we just picked up, the two sides of the coin mission. Oh shit, I got both of them on me by mistake. That's not good. Here. Do your worst. Yeah, we're not going to survive this. Not with an archer firing from the background and this guy fucking me up from the front. Too much damage, too much damage. Ow. Ow. Bleh. <laughs> Good thing I saved it. Okay, here comes the archer. We'll fight the archer by herself. Get a bit of block off her. Farm a bit of block. Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave.
Oh, she's got a magic item of some kind. Or a magic bow. Huh, I wonder what was draining us then. It wasn't her bow. I thought she had a magic bow. Oh well. Maybe not. Oh, the horsey knows I'm here. That's what it is. It's not the... Silly horsey giving away my position. So if these bandits have respawned up here, there's a chance the bandits... The one behind the pillar. There's a chance the bandits will have spawned, respawned in Villrun. Villrun. These guys with the maces do so much damage. Ring around the horsey. Hey! Don't be mean. What, should I hide behind my horse? Go Skeletor, fuck him up. Show him the meaning of fear. What? He just what? he just put away his weapon. He's like, fuck this. Now you will know pain. Got him. Good work, Skeletor. Good work, buddy. Not sure why these have all respawned. I recently did this. Came here and cleared this, so I guess everything in there's respawned. Which is a shame. But say lovey. Yeah, Apple's back. Uh, let's sleep, level up again. Cannot sleep with enemies nearby. Oh. Where are the enemies? Is it the mud crab over here? Let's go kill this mud crab. I don't see any enemies nearby. Yeah, it's this mud crab.
mud crab flambe. Secret does not seem to be hard work. Oh, it does seem to be hard work. Yes, but it's also a kind of blind passion and inspiration. Excellent. Four in endurance, three in intelligence, two in strength. I will take it. Right, his cabin is... Oh, we need to repair, don't we? cabin is up over this way how far not far by the looks of things yeah might as well follow the road along actually we can just go straight up here and over can't we yeah off and over the hill. What's that up there? Is that a rock? Yeah, it's just a rock. Okay. Oh, I meant to go to the well. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Funny chat. I meant to go to the well to get the magic, but I forgot after I slept. Yay, journeyman level illusion spells. That means we can cast invisibility on ourselves, right? Ghost walk? No, we don't have enough magic. Roland, I've arrived at Roland's cabin. I should proceed inside to see if he's here. I should be cautious as Sarah to warn me that vampires can be very dangerous. Yes, indeed. Dangerous indeed. Let's check round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. The car. The car. Okay, one door is locked, the other door isn't. Let's go through the locked door because that's more experience for us. And he won't be expecting it either. could murder him now do you give him a chance to talk or do you just murder him give him a chance to talk go away i know what you're here for just leave me alone do you the emperor and his three sons whoops vampires why would you ask me about those filthy creatures i thought you said you knew you were here that bastard seri dodez accused me of being a vampire me ah He's the one who is the vampire. I thought you knew I, why I was here. What's going I on? I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Yeah, calm down and explain, Roland. I, I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Mm -hmm. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Relfina. What happened that night? Yes. I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Relfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. 
When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. And suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Relfina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. Oh dear. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Oh dear. Yeah, why didn't you tell anyone? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. Well, you better be careful because they're after you. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Why would I kill you? Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. You better not be lying to me. And if I find out that you're actually the vampire and you lied to me, I'll come back and chop your fucking balls off. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. Okay. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greythroat anything, but you could always try. As you know, the vampire can't remain in sunlight. I'd wager that you'll never see Seridor outside during that time of day. Interesting. Remain leery of Seridor. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. You don't say. Well, he is a vampire. What are you doing? Flawless diamond. I want to nick that. Take the flawless diamond. And let's get out of here. Okay. So we were, we've been had chat. We've been had. We need to go back to the market district and talk to the owner of the first edition. Let's sell everything. For, whoa, that's a lot of people in town. Any news? May I interest you in some of my... Excellent, excellent bargain. That's a... An excellent... Come back and... Actually, how many repair hammers do you have? I need you some won't more. find They're better prices six. in all Tamriel. None. Okay, and let's see how many... How many this lady has now? We didn't we buy all twenty of them actually, so she might not have many. She might not have any left. What are you? Don't be rude. I'm a paying customer, bitch. How yeah, she didn't have any. See what's going on in the best defense. I'm Grenard. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Oh, he's got a steel shield now, which is two more defense. Um, I don't think I'll pay for it. I'll wait. Yeah, I want twenty Should repair hammers. A good, a twenty repair hammers, and I'll wait until we find a steel shield rather than paying for it. Uh, where are we going? First edition bookstore. What? What? I'm not really at Okay, we need to charm so. you, eh? Listen to this joke. Okay, so he hates horizontal. Uh, he hates vertical, sorry. He likes horizontal. Oh, that's great. What not? What a... You're wasting your breath. That's great. Don't waste... Well, that's just talk. Is that... Oh, that's... Don't wait. I wish I could say that. 
You're wasting. Oh, that's not now. Really? Interesting. That's just. Where'd you get? What? I wish I could say that. I'm not. Re oh, fuck's sake. No one wants to talk to me about anything. I'm not bribing you. I can't bribe you enough to get your thing up. We need the chum ability and thrilling presence. Oh, you can do it. Okay, nice. Now you'll tell well, me, motherfucker. Then. Tell me what I want to know. Serator? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it. And he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. Oh. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine. But he never talked to me about it directly. Memorial Cave? Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Oh. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Serator is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Thanks. Thank you. Good day. Yeah, see ya. Right, so let's have a look to see on the quest. Serodon makes occasional visits to a place called Memorial Cave. It's a burial site for many heroes that died in the past wars. Serodon supposedly has a relative in ter in ter there. Perhaps I should go investigate. Ah, so it's just, uh, it's not too far at all. Okay. So we can do that in a bit. Let's do the... Now that we've got a charm spell, we can find out finally who this bastard gil, uh, guardsman is from Imperial Corruption, from what's-her-face down here, Jensine. She should tell us now that we can charm her with the illusion spell. Greetings, Greetings to yourself. Right, tell me what I want to know, woman. Any news about... I guess I can trust you. Yeah, damn it's right. It's that bastard Auden's Avidius. He's in here every month taking my wares without paying for them. What a chump. What can I do? He's a captain of the Imperial Watch. Only another watch captain can arrest him. Fat chance of that happening. Fat chance. Oh, is that it? Thanks again. Need to find someone with the authority to stop him. Says any other watch captain should be able to arrest him. Whoops! I need to find another. Oh, I charmed him by mistake. What can I do for you? If you've got a complaint, tell it to the watch captain. Where can I find a watch captain? Go see Hieronymus Lex. He's a pompous fool, just like you. Hey now. He might listen to you. I'm a concerned citizen. Don't need to insult me, you prick. There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshat. There was someone else we needed to charm as well in order to get further in the mission, but I can't remember who it was. But now we've got the option we can charm people whenever we need to, which is nice. Unless you have word of the Grey Fox, my time is limited. Is it? I don't have time for this now. The Grey Fox is on the loose. Take this problem to Itius Hain. 
He's also a captain of the Imperial Watch. Oh, for God's sake, give me the run around, you useless dickheads. There's been some terrible... Tr Good luck with... You fucking plicks. Right in here. Can I help you, citizen? Yeah, so I got a corrupt imperial watchman that needs arresting. You'll have to do better than this to Okay, listen to this Go joke ahead. I've got. It's really funny. He doesn't like jokes. Oh, okay. So he doesn't like bottom right. Please, really. Ugh. That's just talk. That's well, just talk. You please. I'm embarrassed, but I wish you're a vote. Your goodness, what can I say? Goodness, no. what can I say? Is that so? All right, how about now? Why should I? Okay, gonna have to charm you, guy. Listen to this, then. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's going on with you? Shapoopy. There were some goblins around here recently. Awful creature. Can I help you, citizen? Yes. These are very serious charges. If you can get two witnesses to testify against Alden Zavidius, I'll arrest him. Otherwise, I can't help you. Now I've got to get two witnesses. Are you kidding? Truth is, the Legion doesn't know who was behind the Emperor's murder. We've already ruled out the Dark Brotherhood. So is this something worse? Yes, it is. You have no idea, you ignorant chump. Right, chat. Oh, we've got uh, two markers, quest markers now on the map. We've got two people we need to go and get witnesses. But we've reached the end of the episode, so I'm going to leave things off there for now. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching today, guys. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. So hopefully I will see you all there for that, guys. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sal wait till next time.